So guys, I am back with another Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree video. And as you can see guys, I am standing in the lair of Rat Chaser. An absolutely incredible boss who hits absolutely like a truck. As I'm standing here in the background guys, I'm just seeing people drop dead. I'm not going to lie, this guy destroyed me about 30 times in a row. I just couldn't touch him. He was literally two tapping me at most. Normally it was just one tapping me. Now, for defeating him, you get this incredible katana as well as his armor set, which looks amazing. But guys, there's actually a way to destroy this boss with absolute ease. The biggest cheese I've probably seen on a boss in the game where they actually fight back. It's unreal and today I will explain all for everybody who's struggling with this boss because they want to get this amazing katana and armor set. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leave a like, it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Now I actually weren't going to post this. I mean, I recorded it, I recorded everything, but I weren't going to post this because I didn't think as many people were having a problem with this boss as I were, but it seems as though they are. And now thinking about it, I'm not surprised. Now first, like weapons, I've already covered these weapons and how you get to this actual location, which I'll link in the video description. If you don't know where I'm at, I am at the Eastern Nameless Mausoleum. Uh, again, full guide on how you get here. It's quite a trek, you have to come through a secret area uh, from the Shadow Keep. You come to this grace right here, the water, uh, Castle Watering Hole. You come down to the Reclusive River upstream, come down to the Reclusive River downstream and then make your way around to this mausoleum, the Eastern Nameless Mausoleum. But yeah. In here guys is Rakshasa and this is what you get for defeating him which I'll show you exactly how you do it in a second. So you get this Rakshasa's great katana with that weed cutter skill. Causes blood loss build up and scales with strength and dexterity requires 12 strength, 27 of that dexterity and this thing hits like an absolute truck. But also guys with his armor, special perk on this one is increases damage dealt to foes but greatly increases damage taken by the wearer. Which isn't that strong mad to be honest but it does deal damage and i'm thinking now this guy when fighting against him he was having these perks on me because he was absolutely slain now great katanas ain't really my thing but i know they are a fan favorite because they hit so hard they've got great range and this one is absolutely no different now this is the weed cutter skill and it's just monstrous it really is so how do you beat this boss to a point where it's such a cheese, he can't touch you. He can't even get up off the floor. You can do it in your pants like I did to demonstrate just how crazy it was. Because I, I, I went through all sorts of guys. I went to be a mage, tried to get him from afar. I tried every kind of weapon I could imagine. And then I remembered something about this weapon right here, the Sacred Relic Sword. This is a weapon which has the wave of gold, if you know what that is. Uh, it's also a weapon that drops from the main games, the final boss of the Elden Beast. So you would need this either or, which I'm guessing most people watching this have got. What this does is it's got an attack, which basically sweeps the entire area and knocks human foes off their feet. So what I did was, and you'll see this on screen now, I come through that, that door and I stood there for a while. Well, actually, the first time I did it, I stood there. You won't see the first time I did it. And I was just spamming it. It got to a point where I was taking the mick out of him because when you do it and time it right, he can't get up. If you time it as he gets back up off his feet, you'll knock him straight back down. The sword don't need to be... Mine's leveled up. Obviously, I'm going to do more damage than what you do with yours. It isn't leveled up. But it doesn't need to be leveled up because if you hit him with this attack and you time it right, he can't get back up. He constantly falls over. And that's why I did it in my pants with no talismans on nothing giving me a boost to my damage and it absolutely destroyed him and he's seeing it on screen now so if you guys are struggling with this boss and you've tried everything and you want to get this great katana and this armor set all you need to do is pull out this sword guys do as i do stand the fight if you have to uh, get a close if you have to just time him attack properly the first one you hit him with will knock him down time the second one for as soon as he gets back on his feet it will knock him back down again taking damage off him every single time and it's just the craziest cheese I've ever seen. Mature cheddar cheese, guys. Mature cheddar cheese. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, it really helps. Add if you like what you see and want to see more, add on ring, be sure to subscribe, and hopefully my beautiful people. I will see you on that next one.